guys, do you know this joke? This choke is precise. It is from high intensity and best quality. It is a sample of German craftsmanship. This choke was invented and developed in Cologne, Germany in the year 1998. Some people call it the Darst choke or Bravo choke. And they think it's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu technique, but it's not. It is originally called Björn technique. Björn means the bear or bear choke or reverse anaconda. It is a technique from Luta Liver. Yeah, I'm, I'm here now with the guy uh, who brought this idea of this choke, the, all this inspiration uh, on our mat in 1998, Björn Dark Lagerström. Uh, I remember when we when we started all this fine tuning at this choke and uh, yeah. when when you brought this on the mat and when we started tapping people with that it was a very nice time, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course I remember. Uh, one day I had an inspiration to just close the the uh, choke the other way around instead of going this way I went that way and uh, surprisingly it it worked. So uh, we started to to work on that move and. Uh, we find it a little bit and uh, soon we, we started hitting this move from all kinds of different positions and uh, on anyone because no, nobody knew, knew that move at, at the time. So, um, and it had a lot of uh, um, pros to, to the uh, regular anaconda because the regular anaconda so much relies on upper body strength. But with this move, you have your whole body supporting the choke. So um, I fell in love with it and uh, this is how we came about. It was a After playing around with this choke, we showed it our teacher, Danielle de Dane. He was fascinated. He showed it to a Luta Livre fighter and Judo champion, Alexandre Pequeno Nogueira, when he made a trip to Brazil. Pequeno trained at this time in the Brazilian top team, and he showed the technique there. And this was the way how the technique came to Brazil and got connected with BJJ. But it is as many other techniques, not a BJJ technique from origin. I won a fight in 2001 after 1 minute 30 with this technique against Martin de Jong, Shoto president and grappling trainer of Alistair Overeem. I guess no one can show a video where someone used exactly this choke earlier in a fight. We came up with this video to show you how innovative our Luta Libre is. Our techniques are as genius as simple. 
They are effective. They are easy to learn and easy to adapt to any kind of martial arts. We have no problem if people adapt our techniques to their game. But please, be so kind and give honor to the inventors of the techniques by telling who you learned it from. Thanks for watching.